what I've actually built here is an interactive, uh, a kind of a dynamic Model 3 production ramp. So this uses that uh, logarithmic S curve growth. And this is the model that Elon and everyone talks about when it comes to manufacturing. This is how essentially it works for the Model 3. Now, with this, uh, what we have, and let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. Yeah, hopefully that, that works better. You're able to punch in the a time value and then a numerical value for your starting point. So in this case, I have January 7th of 2018 at 1,000. So this is how many cars they produced per week. And this is based on their previous statements. Then the updated one as of today, 4.9, I'm putting it at 2,500. This was using the Bloomberg tracker, which I believe was at 2,400 as of last night. Um, so let's we can put it at 2,400 if you guys want or just put it at 2,500, whatever. The point of this is that you can play with these numbers and see what the results are. Now, the big question here is the peak. How many cars per week do you think is really possible in that one line at the Fremont factory? Tesla has stated, uh, and, I, and I think there's a little bit of confusion about this, they've stated that they want to get Model 3 production up to 10,000 a week, but I don't know if that's 100% in the Fremont factory because it's really difficult to see. I mean, that is a, a, a double, I believe, of what the Toyota plant was able to do before they took it over. Now, granted, yeah, Tesla's very innovative and they're doing things, uh, you know, th they're improving upon um, what Toyota ha had done, um, you know, 10, 12 years ago, obviously. However, doubling is is a pretty ambitious target. So if you believe that, if you believe that 10,000 is uh, the peak and we're currently at 2,500 and then they're at, uh, one th they were at 1,000 at the beginning of the year, that means that this is what the curve will look like. And you can go at any point in the curve here and see how many cars that they'll be producing per week. Now, I used to say that this was delivered, but deliveries versus production is different because the delivery process takes a bit more. So if this were true, if these numbers all added up and this curve represented the true curve that that uh, that Elon and everyone talks about, that means that in 2018 alone, they will produce around 253,000 Model 3s more than doubling their entire production last year. Then in 2019, they'll be up to that 500,000 mark just for the Model 3. Uh, you know, if we can assume maybe 150,000, 130,000 for S and X, you're looking at 650,000, uh, give or take, uh, in 2019, and then, you know, 2020, maybe a little bit more. Those are some pretty big numbers and some huge growth numbers for Tesla. If these pan out, this means that Tesla is truly on their way towards success. I mean, they, 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 they've been come to the brink of bankruptcy a couple times. It's kind of how Elon likes to play it, I think, um, and, and, and then pulled back. So with this, using this model and, and the math that we have here, and I actually have a link to, to the, the model and, and, and everything that I use to calculate this, um, it looks like going into June, July 1st, they'd be at 4,700. July 8th, a week later, they'd be at 4,900. And then July 15th, they would finally crest that 5,000 mark. So uh, two things I just shared with you there. One is this interactive dashboard that you can go play with. I'll put a link to it into the in the description of this video after it's over. It is on teslanomics.co. I'll probably put a link up in the top menu there as well so you guys can have fun with that. You can kind of play with it. Let me know what you find. You know, you can kind of adjust all these things. Like let's assume just for, for argument's sake that the peak was only 5,000. That's all they could actually reach. Well, if you change this and you hit enter, um, or there's a little uh, icon there, the entire thing will update and you can see exactly how it looks now. Now they're still gonna reach it pretty quickly, but it doesn't actually look like they'll hit 5,000 for quite a while, if that is the true peak, but they still would end up producing 182,000 Model 3s in 2018 alone. Huge numbers, uh, no matter kind of which way you look at it. Now, um, if you know, maybe we want to split the difference, let's say 7,500 is what is what they can produce. You can, you know, just hit update or, or hit re refresh there. And you can see now we're at 223,000 Model 3s uh, and they'd be hitting that 5,000 mark uh, late July, still in July, you know, um, and with all of this, 
just know that these are estimates. I create these tools to kind of bring some some logic and, and some math to our understanding of how Tesla is doing, whether you're an investor or whether you're waiting on your Model 3 or whether you're a current owner or whatever you want to, whatever bucket you want to put yourself in. Um, so that's what these are. This isn't uh, to be used as a, a, a means of uh, buying or selling stock or making predictions or anything real. This is just entertainment. This is fun. So uh, I'll put a link to this uh, map here, this uh, interactive version in the description and let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, I, I'd love to see if you guys can find anything interesting here. You can adjust all these numbers. I wanted to make it very dynamic. Um, that way, you know, as, as the ramp moves on, um, you know, so can this. And so we don't have to keep revisiting it every time.